Oh, hey, the lads, everyone. Welcome to a new fans forum. Uh, I, I'm delighted. I'm going to put John next, you know, to go first. You, you say you talk all the time, Paul. So, you know, we got to we got to have John have his say first. But uh, I'm delighted to have the fans forum today. It was going to be another, you know, panel debate, but we're going to which it's almost the same thing. Uh, the only difference is that uh, all fans from all over the world can join us. The link is pinned in the chat. And uh, you can have your say. We're going to talk a little bit about the game last night, but we got to talk about the draw. It was, uh, I mean, you know, I, I tweeted, I tweeted this out, and I said I didn't want to win the FA Cup anyway. Uh, after seeing that, after after seeing that uh, that uh, that draw result against Manchester City, so we're going to get the guys' takes uh, on that as well. And I might dig a few news here and there. But I want to welcome John Sinclair for being on the show. John, how are you doing, man? Good evening to you, Chris, Paul and Mason. Big up to everyone else in the chat. And um, yeah, it's all yeah. fantastic. Came back from Blackburn yesterday and I got back. And um, I just um, just thank you very much for having us on. Everything's fantastic. First time on your wonderful channel. Heard some good yeah. things about you. And um, you know what? Just keep smashing it, my guy, because you're doing fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. About, thank you for that, man. I appreciate the, those words. And... Um, I want to thank Queen of Heart for being a member. She just became a member of the show, so I appreciate that. By the way, we're giving away a home shirt this Thursday. And if you are a member, you get your if you're the first tier member, you get your name added twice. If you're the second tier member, you get your name added five times. On top of of course, of course uh, enjoying exclusive content, but increases your chances of becoming uh, of winning the shirt on Thursday on the match preview of Newcastle and Wolves. So, but before we obviously we have a lot to talk about before we ever talk about uh, Newcastle Wolves, uh, John, I want to get your your thoughts on before. By the way, and if you if you want to have your say, come on the show and you can uh, certainly you know say your opinion. Uh, if you want to have if you want to have a platform where you want to you know say what you feel about the game yesterday, about the draw, whatever it is, join the chat. the The link is in the is pinned in the chat, so you can come on and have your say. But John, what are you? What are your perspective? What are your thoughts on uh, last night's performance against uh, Blackburn, man? Um, I love what I got. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was going to say. Um, listen, I was at the match yesterday, and um, I have to be honest with you. I thought you were absolutely poor, absolutely rubbish. I mean, yeah. I thought um, the back four. I mean, Damper did okay. I'm not going to lie, but I thought Trippier. I mean, um, you know. His set pieces all okay, clear, but he didn't do a lot. I thought Fabian Shah was poor, absolutely poor. Gave the ball away, and um, it was just all six and sevens at times. Um, also, Lascelles, he did all right until he made a horrific mistake. Tried to um, head of the, tried to make a clearance and didn't come off. What was he doing? I just don't know. But um, that was a poor, poor mistake, and we got punished for it. It's as simple as that. And I thought the midfield, I thought Bruno um, tried to do ambitious passes, but um, just didn't come off. Sean Longstaff, I mean, listen, I mean, I tried to defend this guy, but unfortunately now, I think, in my opinion, I just don't think he's going to. He had a shocker yesterday, an absolute shocker. He really, really did. I mean, he was slow, pampers, he gets knocked off the ball. And I tell you what, for me, when, I mean, Willick is back now, isn't he? So... I think he needs to be dropped. I don't think he's fit. I still think he's carrying an injury, in my opinion. And, you know, and it is what it is. But I thought Joe Willock is good to see him back. I tell you, he was a little bit tired out in the 60th minute. Andrew, get used to it. And, um, I mean, up front, I mean, I feel sorry for Isak because he was getting any service hardly at all from the midfield. I thought Andy Gordon was fantastic. I thought he played really, really well. I thought Murphy did all okay, so he went off. But... I thought Blackburn should have won that game. That's just my opinion. They had the better chances. I mean, Martin Abraka, man of the match. Man of the match for me because he made some cracking saves. Two great saves in the first half. He couldn't do anything about the goal, but he made some important saves at the time. And, and that penalty save in the end caps it off. But for me, I thought Newcastle were lucky. Wasn't happy with the performance. But hey, ho, we came for a price. Got Man City. Yeah, and that's that's the problem right there. <laughs> that's the problem. Uh Paul, what do you think, man? What do you, what do you got to say about um about the draw, man? You know, and I'll get back to John on that as well, but I mean, what we just can't get away from it, can we? Uh screw you, David Seaman. You know, <laughs> you know, you and your terrible crisp packet hands. 
uh, keep us in the last ball. And they, honestly, I'm sick and tired of these draws, man. Man City, um, we've drawn them now how many times in a cup? How many times have we played Man City this, this bloody kind of the year? About yeah. 10? Uh, it's shocking, isn't it? I mean, another, it's just, I know people say we're mad when we say there's a conspiracy, but it's just, it's a joke. I literally said to my other half, I was like, I bet you we've, we've got through terribly against Blackburn. We were terrible. It's an awful game. Mm. And I was like, you watch us pull out Man City at the Etihad. That'll just be Newcastle United season in a nutshell. And what the hell happened? Exactly that. You know, look at the Champions League draw. Same bloody rubbish. Hardest one you could pull out. The Bermin Carabao Cup. City. Man United. Chelsea. It's just, yeah. you know, it's just like, are you kidding me? DC, yeah. It's yeah. absolutely, um, it's, it's a shambles, mate. It's a shambles. But look, if, you know, if I mean, we've got to start playing a lot better because we're not playing well. Um, on our day, I'm not saying we, you know, we can give anyone a game on our day. If we're full pelt, we can beat Man City. We, we've beaten them. And we've beaten them at Etihad in 2014. Um, you know, when we were doing the Poznan to them. Um, so we we can do it, but not on this. I mean, if we play, imagine if we played like that against them. Dear me, they would have had about 20. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's definitely. But I do think that if there's a, I mean, we could. Well, I don't know. I was well, I was about to say something crazy, but I mean, we could <laughs> beat them. I mean, we have, but I certainly um haven't been playing as decent, not as good. That you know, as as decent as we played in the beginning of the season. But Mason, uh, welcome to the show, my brother. Um, what are your what is your perspective on on this draw? Uh, in in honestly, do you do you even do you even think we can beat them? Mm. I've got my doubts over, but I mean, if Fernando were missing, Gary B at the Cabo Cup game, but um, if we play like what it did against them at that time at the Cabo Cup in September, we might have a chance, but it all depends who they bring on, um, yeah. who they start, and who they play on the day. And but you have to see how we play on the day as well. And Man City as well. So, yeah. But the fact is, for some reason today, I was I was wanting to avoid Liverpool, but luckily enough, they've got the fortress. Fortress have got the Man United away. Um, but yeah, I'm pleased in a way, but we didn't get Liverpool, but. Man City is just you know, tough, tough and to go along with Liverpool. Yeah, it's, it's definitely going to be a, a, a tough, a tough opponent. Uh, maybe the toughest, to be honest. I don't think there's a better team <laughs> in the Premier League. But we could, our, 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 uh, our luck could have been worse. Well, Liverpool I just won the the Carabao Cup, but I think that, that Man City got them. But uh, Lewis, welcome to. Yeah, uh, Lewis, welcome to the show, mate. Uh, how you doing? I'm good. fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Um, what do you think about? I didn't get your perspective for last night's match, man. What do you think? Uh, what do you think about it? <laughs> we were absolutely terrible. <laughs> we we could. I said to this. I wanted. I, I think we're going to get. I thought we we're going to get beat in the FA Cup against yeah. Blackburn. Then we got one on penalties. But then does it get City away? It's another <laughs> bloody away game. That's all so far in the FA Cup. We haven't even had a home tie. And that's the problem. Right. I know it's a look at the draw. But I think there should be a system. If you had two away games and you got to get through, you should be able to get a home tie. Yeah. Um, and what are your thoughts on the on the on the draw, mate? We got one of the weakest teams in the league. <laughs> we got we probably got one of the hardest ties you could ever get. Yeah, man. Man City away yeah. in the cup. You got to go. I, I've seen yeah. going to beat about nine two. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, man. I tell you this. Um, it, it's uh, it's certainly. I will say this, man. As my as many times as we've been 
drawn uh, away this 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 these local cups this season this year i mean come on man there's, there's got to be a, a, a rule where like all right these guys have played every game away let's give them a, a game at home i think the only game at home we played was was against uh what fulham not right fulham new, and new, uh fulham was, new fulham, fulham was away. away yeah fulham was away well i think it's about see you might see your home in the cup yeah and we eliminated them of course but i mean damn it like, you know, like, no, just... there's, there's, no, hang on. We got we had Sullen away, Fulham away, Blackburn away. Now, Man City win the FA Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're, you're right. You're right. Uh, good evening. Let me go with Jack. Good evening. Go ahead, yeah, yeah, you doing this a long time. Well, good morning for you, isn't uh, it? Hey, mate. Fucking good morning. <laughs> Yeah, uh, let me go. Let me go. Let me go with Jack while I sort this stuff out. Uh, Jack, May, what are you? I, I, you weren't there yesterday, were you? Yeah, no. So yeah, let me get your thoughts on on the match, man. I tell you what, uh, it's such a Newcastle thing to do to make it hard for ourselves. It wouldn't be Newcastle if we didn't uh, go to penalties or, or extra time with Blackburn. But fair play to Blackburn; they were a really good team yesterday. Um, they they do they their game plan they they execute it pretty well to be fun, to be honest and uh, we just weren't really on our game uh, really for the second time running or maybe more more than that um right. it was a weird game really it was a really really weird game to watch and especially for the players to play in um their goal is so avoidable um it's just a little mistake Lascelles made and apart from that Lascelles is probably one of our best players on the pitch really um so, yeah, it was a weird game, really. And uh, I feel like many opportunities we had, we didn't take. Uh, but let's just say I was bricking it. I was absolutely bricking it on the penalty, penalty shootout. Yeah. Were you were you one of the ones that wanted Carriers in or Dubs in? I didn't mind either, really. Um, I think Carriers is... I'm um, with you, man. I think Karras is... Um, I back both the goalkeepers, really, because I think we've got some really good goalkeepers in the club. In Pope, yeah. Dubravka, Karras. I think Karras just comes off his line a bit quicker than... Debravka. But apart from that, the two sound, really sound goalkeepers, so I don't really mind if either starts, really. And it proved yesterday yeah. that Debravka really, really did well. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I mean, I didn't think that it was that big of a deal. Uh, Roy, on the other hand, thought it was life or death that Karius played. Hopefully, <laughs> thank God he's wrong. he was wrong. Uh, Roy, welcome, brother. How you doing, man? Hey, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, could, uh, could this be easy for you? <laughs> Yeah. So, First Roy, one, uh, what do you think about the draw, man? Fuck it. Yeah. We all knew it, didn't we? So. <laughs> hey, oh, nah. it, no. One of my mates said, uh, I'll go see you. Yeah, I know that. We think you're taking the piss. And oh, shit, it is. So, we played them four four times this season. Man U three times. Um, Chelsea three times. Plus, you got Milan twice. Um, PSG twice. Dortmund twice. <laughs> I don't think another team in the world had fixtures like that in one season. Even if you probably, like a Spanish team would make the semi-final or final Champions League, they'll still won't play the harder games than this. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, oh, oh well. Anyway, I think season's finished now. Let's finish eight. To, uh, um, I, th I think we need to start playing better on the pitch now then. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely getting out of control. And, and to be honest with you, it, it is very difficult um, against Man City. Let's be honest. But um, the, the Premier League right now, what what are we? Eleventh? I stopped looking too uh, on purpose because well, I need to. Well, my liver needs to needs to get re regenerate now. Regenerate. Tenth. Tenth for now. Eleven. Yeah, will be eleventh when Chelsea play the game in hand. Uh, uh, eleventh. This is as bad as us anyway. Yeah, it's it's just a it's just a bad bad deal, um, but I mean, <laughs> what what does this what does this mean for? Obviously, Eddie has got to prepare the team to 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 beat Man City somehow, some way or another. We have beat them, so you know. But without Jalinton, without certain players, it's gonna be it's gonna be really hard. Um, but let's be positive. Let, let let's keep the the debate you know to, towards a, a positive attitude, and. Um, <laughs> what what can Newcastle United inspire this season? Are we are we just looking for some type of European football seventh? What you know, realistic and positive at the same time. John, what do you think? What do you think we can go from? Uh, you know, what can we look forward to, man? Um, 
thing is, I would love to win the FA Cup. I really would. But now we've got Man City. I'll try to be positive. Like, you know what I mean? But it's going to be real tough. But we'll give it a go, like. And um, you just never know. Anything can happen in football. Simple as that. But yeah. in the league, I mean, we got to go on a mad run. If you want to get back in Europe, Champions League is out, is out of reach for us this season. Forget the Champions League. Europa League could be a possibility. Again, a couple more wins. It could be back in the Europa League race. You just never know. But... If we don't qualify for Europe, then okay, cool. Then next season we just have to play less competition and just try to push on for top four. If we do a less competition, yeah. But it's scop death. We need to get some more players here. We need to get the players out, direct contract players out, in my opinion. But if we can do that and get the players coming in, then and just don't go on to the next level. I still could Eddie in. Eddie's got to stay either way. But for me. Just finish as strong as we can now. That's all you can do and see where it takes us. But I have you taken eighth, eighth, seventh, or eighth this season. I'll take that. But we got to go on a mad run and start winning games, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the thing is, how do we turn this thing around, Paul? I mean, definitely, um, he, I would assume he's trying, he's trying because he's making changes, but it's not the, the, the players are not either they're not getting it or something is not. He is not being translated correctly to the players or the players, you know, they're just not performing on the pitch. No, there's a definite lack of um, cohesion in the team. Um, I don't know if it's a confidence thing or a fitness thing or whatever. I definitely think that a few players are playing on injuries or they're not fully match fit. I think that's fairly obvious from how we're playing. Um, and the back four in particular, I mean, again, last night it was doing my head in. We were saying it in the what in the in the pub backstage. It was just like how slow it was. It was really frustrating. And I tell you right now, Blackburn were were doing well against that because they were pushing us. If you put Holland against that, you know, and players yeah. about Elk at Man City, they're going to destroy us. Like they really, we cannot go in with that attitude. We can't. And Eddie can't. He needs to learn from the Arsenal game. You need to think about playing a team like Man City at had. You can't go 4-3-3. Three, three. You, you just can't do it. We figured it out against Arsenal. They absolutely embarrassed us going 4-3-3. Three, three. I, I know people hate negative tactics or whatever in their head, but you have to be sensible. If you're going to get any part of a result against Man City, you need to go in with that five and at least protect yourself at some point. I'm not saying like just to defend the whole game like we did at Arsenal because that's embarrassing. We have to have a stable back five. Um, and then try, you know, if you nick a goal or whatever and they're not playing their best. Um it depends on what team they put out. I don't know I, I don't know what date is on exactly whether it in lines with the Champions League game. We might get lucky that they might have to figure like put more in their emphasis on a Champions League game. If there's one close to the FA Cup tie, I don't know exactly what date these these are played now. Um, someone will probably tell me in the chat or something if it's anywhere near close something. Um, that's the only hope I've got, really, is that either they have an off day, which they can have, um, and that they're caring more about the Champions League if it's like a couple of days ahead, because they might not be bothered about the FA Cup. Yeah, I think that... Um... I mean, this is this sounds horrible. This will sound horrible, but it almost feels like I hope Man City don't have the FA Cup as a goal this season, um, and that could help us. I'm not, you know, we're not as a, a horrible team that needs other teams to give up on the, on the game, so you know we can we can we can get it. But let's be honest. I mean, on the full on the full on the full power, Man City right now they have no injuries or very limited ones. They're obviously right there uh, for the uh, fighting for the Premier League, and and most people believe that City are just cruising until they have to put their 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 foot on the pedal and just kill Arsenal, Liverpool, which I don't necessarily I don't necessarily agree with that, but um, but most people believe that. So um, Mason, mate, uh, you know what what do you think? What do, what what do we got to look forward to this season with Newcastle United, man? Try and get into the Europa <laughs> Conference or the Europa League because I can't see us getting into the Champions League now. 
we have to look at Europa Conference or the Europa League minimum. That's a fact. You think, you, because you think if we don't if we don't get European football, it's a it's a it's a bust for Newcastle. European football. Right. Or did, did you say did you say European football and where else? Or conference league, right? Or, conference league name. or Europa League at a minimum. Because I can't yeah, so, so, in, in, in the Champions League. Okay, but it, what what happens if we don't? get that do you think there should be any repercussions or it should just be it is what it is we didn't make it so it's got to be done by the scenes with top to bottom uh, not not top to bottom because i don't have anything against you on the sport playing my uh playing wise and medical wise because the medical what medical team has been shocking because We've missed majority of the players this season, and it's some of them have been our best players as well, and that's what costs were. And obviously, players constantly being made, being made to play con. Well, say that Eddie Howe was being playing his favourites, IA Dan Byrne, IA Sean Longstaff, IA Miggy, but luckily enough, he got dropped last night. Yeah, uh, but you came yeah, on and, and assisted the goal. Who did? Who did? Miggy. Miggy. Oh yeah, Miggy. Well, Miggy. But I keep saying this. Miggy is to me uh, a really great sub. You can put him in a pitch, and he will, you know, break through because he's obviously energized. And the rest of the team, the defense of the of the opposing team is, uh, you know, weakened tired and so i think that he would be a, he, he would be a nice weapon to get in uh to do something in, in, in the second half some people do you guys what do you guys think uh, about this uh, about this uh what i'm saying about biggie or do you think that Miggy should be a starter anybody that's next jack Lu, uh, lewis roy uh, well, roy i know I, what he thinks yeah i would keep Miggy as, as a soap bring him on like when you have a team like let's say yeah. for example like a sheffield united for example when their players tired bring Miggy on to be going, oh shit, <laughs> who's coming on? Like, for example, but now the the only thing is that Murphy didn't he started yesterday, but he he didn't look good. Um, which is crazy because I think I, I really like Murphy, and and probably I would have done the same start him over, um, over Almiron. But I really, I just now the more you watch Newcastle play, unfortunately, it, it, it almost seems like every match we play worse and worse and worse i don't see where we are playing better or there are positive things in every match of course nothing is always bad you know 100 uh but as a total team we are not moving upwards and that is my concern and my my, my biggest concern is uh i don't know where jack is but i'll, I'll go with you roy um that the team doesn't seem to be moving up doesn't seem to be listening to what Eddie wants. Yeah, I don't think it's just that. He's not picking the best 11 to start with every game. Yeah. So from now on, we've got nothing left now. The season's it's, it's gone. You have to fight for every point, for every game. You're not going to beat City unless some miracle happens. So anyone who thinks we're going to go there and get something, or Shaw's going to get something, you, we, you will, we probably need to pray. And When was the last time we beat them there? 2011. Uh, yeah, even Shira was there. Uh, 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 <laughs> even before their takeover, we couldn't beat them there. Yeah. So uh, uh, we like have not won there. there ever since. Like, like. Uh, 2014 was the last one, wasn't it? I swear. What? So yeah, they, have the, they have the worst. There? They have the worst. Atmo atmo they have the worst atmosphere in the world. So. As a league. It would be the most. Um. I, now, you, I got a graphic. You you told me to show. You want me to show it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The XG against us. There we go. So we're bottom of the league. That's chances against us. So we've been saved by the goalkeeper. Whoever it is, the Brafka wow. or um okay, yes, twenty. See, look at that. West Ham is fourteen. Arsenal wow. is the on, on top. We, we we're just shit. It's wow. not about um who's in goal now. It's uh, it's not this this, this 
it's not just defenders day. This is your, your, your midfield allowing other yeah. teams to have chances against you. Mm-hmm. Oh. And West Ham, yeah, the, 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 the league goals all the time. Brentford, the same. Luton, but not as bad as us. So it's 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 defensive midfield day is a is a work rate of your midfielders. Fingers day will go on Longstaff and Miley. Because ever since Joe Linton got injured, this has happened. Hmm. We, we we did league goals before he was injured, but it's not it's not as bad. And I think some say maybe it's the Pope not there because it's not because Pope saves, it's Pope's command to the front to the players in front of him. But um I mean, I don't know if I buy it. Welcome, Tony, to the chat, by the way. Tony, what's up, my brother? Are you still in Albania? Yes, you might forgot be. Speak English. To... He forgot you... to speak English, man. It's frozen. <laughs> it's dodgy. It's frozen. Yeah, your internet. Tony, man, you didn't, you didn't yeah, yeah, play your phone, bill, on, mate. Dodgy. His internet is on diesel there. <laughs> 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 Tony, man, what's up? Oh, he's he's oh, yeah. that <laughs> yeah, He's got some chickens and stuff. I'm going to ask you some Albanian <laughs> kid. Is he got something on laptop you shouldn't have on? <laughs> Tony, I think you had to restart, mate. Yeah, we got it. Read Joel's um, comment. Yeah, so um, that's basically our, our back four. The front, um, the other problem is. It's, it's, uh, now you need to play your best players. So up front, you need to go with Isaac, Barnes, and Gordon. Gordon on the right, and um, Barnes on the left. Miggy showed yesterday, even though it's against a, what 16th place in the championship, his level. Him and Longstaff, and, and Longstaff was so shit against Blackburn. So that that's the three you go with up front. You, now you've got Anderson back and Willock. They can start rotating Longstaff. I mean, yesterday it was shocking. You bring mm. Miley on and then you take him off. So, and, so yeah, I, no, that, yeah. To be, I'll be fair with you. Nobody has talked about that much from what I've from what well, I've watched today. It, and and honestly, that is you will not see if you did that to Maradona. Well, let, let's just say Maradona is not. He's top. He's top. Now. But let, let me just say, any other player. I'm just saying, any of he wouldn't have done that to Trippier. Let's no, be honest. It, it was it was to do with penalties. I think. Yeah, well, that's, that's what I think point. too. Yeah. But, but so, long, long stuff, long stuff didn't even take any penalties as well. So he was still. But I feel on. like, but I feel like long stuff was way more experienced in them situations than Miley. It, he's seventeen years old, and if it does end up coming down to Miley, because you never know in penalty shootouts, if it does, that's it better than Tony. Down to Miley, you're relying on a seventeen-year-old with little experience. Um, so I think yeah, but, that's yeah. why. No, I get that. I get that. Yeah, but no, said no, himself, what happened to? And he said himself he brought him off because he yeah. wanted Anderson on because he had more experience. Yeah, but and the thing is, Longstaff uh, was uh, still on. And the only thing Billy, Longstaff's Billy. got more experience in than Miley is hiding. He knows how to hide and disappear. <laughs> he's a, he's a, he's he has an issue with Longstaff, man. Uh, uh, Billy says that we beat Pardew, Pardew beat them in the, in the beat Man City in the cup with a reserve yeah, side. Yeah, I was, yeah, I don't that's remember. Sammy, Sammy, maybe. Yeah, 2014. That was, yeah. Um, that, that, that was a different city, and it was our team was um, different as well. We used to play out, out, yeah. out of our skin thing. Um, welcome, Tony, man. What's happening, my brother? Hey, mate. Yeah, you all right, guys? You all right? Uh, yeah, I won't be on long because half past 11 here at night and I've got to get up at uh, oh, half shame, past six in the morning. Yeah, one minute, Oi, half one here. Not, yeah. not, not everybody can do the... the are you the in the bathroom, way. Tony? <laughs> yeah, but are you taking Yeah, I've had to get closer to the Wi-Fi, that's why. So I've had to get closer to the Wi-Fi. Uh, be, on, be honest, you're, 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 you're dropping one, aren't you? It's all right, man. There's no shame. <laughs> I'm here, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm Tony, what's up, man? Over. It's hey, we'll have a life over here, absolutely. Are you gonna Are you gonna stay there? No, no, I'll be coming home yeah, tomorrow. Right. But uh, oh god, I would have stayed here a bit longer because I, I mean, the few people I've spoken to, like Albanians, that are like, "Where are you from?" I'm like Newcastle. As soon as you mentioned Newcastle, it's like, oh, you know, fantastic. And then um, I was in one restaurant tonight, and the guy asked where I was from. He said, "I said Newcastle." I went, oh, Alan Shearer, straight away. And I was like, wow, you know. So it's amazing how much. 
Jordy's all got a life to him, but he had to be fair. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And what do you think about the game last night, man? Well, when I was watching it, it was like, obviously something sort of dropped out because of the Wi-Fi. But uh, look, um, I had to use my VPN so I could watch BBC. But um, yeah, to be honest with you, I was disappointed. Um, you know, against the team who was sick in the championship, I thought we would have performed a lot better, to be fair. Um, I wasn't surprised they equalised, if I'm honest. Um, and when it went to penalties, I just thought, yeah, let's hope we get through on penalties and we scraped it. So, you know, we're in the next round. Yes, we've got City away, which isn't going to be easy. But you know what? It wouldn't surprise me us to do the Newcastle thing and go and beat them. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Uh, and what do you think about the draw? I mean, I mean, obviously you said you can that we can beat them, but I mean that's I, I, that's just I know that's the fan talking too. But I mean, what 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 are we gonna do to? to do that because we don't seem to be we we struggle with blackburn mate i mean that's our reality we saw it last night so how can we uh, beat city that's what, that's what i'm saying though chris we've done this before we've done it the Newcastle. Yeah. it's the newcastle thing sometimes we've been against the odds and we've gone out there and won a game that we shouldn't be winning so who knows we could go there and beat you know what i mean it just wouldn't surprise me i mean i can't see us beating man city but it just wouldn't surprise me if we'd done the Newcastle thing and went out there and beat them because we've done it before in the past. All right. Well, uh, but so now let me ask this question to just the, the, to the to, to the forum. Um, or I think Jack, I haven't gotten your thoughts on on how to what are we going to do, I man? What, what what changes do we need to make? I mean, we need we need to do something because obviously it, it's not working. Something is not working. Uh, and at the end, at this point, I, I don't understand what's going on. I don't even know if the players don't want to listen to Eddie or they just because obviously if they did, they would try to do what he's wanting on the pitch. And this can't be it. No, and personally for me, I feel it's the midfield that's lacking. I don't think it's Bruno. I don't think it's Miley. I think it's just long stuff for me, especially yesterday. You just saw it. It painted a picture yesterday. We're just missing that Joel Linton in that midfield, just missing that physical presence and that one who's willing to get stuck in and that one who's willing to die on that football field. Joel Linton's the... We call him the battering ram to let Bruno play, his, play how Bruno wants to play. We don't have that at the minute. Longstaff is too scared to go into 50-50s and I feel like having Elliot Anderson back is such a big moment in our season because Elliot Anderson is that sort of younger Joel Linton. I feel like Elliot Anderson's willing to rough a few players up uh, in order to get the ball and also make let us play, so I feel like having Anderson back is huge, and I feel like we are missing that certain <laughs> player in that midfield. I think that's the problem for me because teams are getting through our midfield like that. One yeah. ball, they're in. You saw it yesterday in Blackburn. One ball through the midfield, they're in one on one. I feel yeah. like that is just the play we're missing as a Joel Linton, and I feel like Ellie Anderson's probably closest to Joel Linton than is Sean Longstaff. So I feel like. Um, if Elliot Anson's um, we need to work him work his way back quicker quicker because we can't be having Sean Longstaff playing out playing out like that every week, especially against Man City, because they will tear us a new one, I'm telling you, especially with the way they're playing right now. I think it's just a midfield for me, really. It's got I ain't got any problem with attack. We can still score goals. Haven't really got a problem with the defence. We can still defend. It's just our defence is having to defend more because of our midfield, because people are getting through our midfield too easily. So I think once we get that physical presence back in that midfield, I think we'll be I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right against some teams. But if long I agree, Longstaff has been playing worse than Burn, and Burn has been criticized left and right uh, by 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 pundits, YouTubers, whatever you call it. But so we can see that Eddie. See, I would assume Eddie can see that. Why is he not playing? Why yesterday against Blackburn? Against Blackburn. Against Blackburn. Why did he not start Miley Willock and um, and Bruno? Why why does he why does he stay with Longstaff? And, and clearly, he doesn't help offensively or defensively. Uh, John, what what do you think, mate? Um, I just think Eddie likes him. I think he, he picks his fear vets as well. He picks um players like Dan Burn, Sean Longstaff, me, but. Um, Sean Longstaff, I've got I've not been funny, but I think he's carrying an injury or something. The Eagles play with an injury, so I think he was going on the pitch. I mean, I tried to defend this guy, but um, now it's just come to a point now he's just not good enough. Do you know what I mean? People are saying, like, I oh, score goals and that, but 
Where's this long distance shooting? I haven't seen it for months. Yeah. Not just him, but Bruno as well. But Sean Longstaff, for me, I think I wouldn't shed a tear if he went in the summer because he didn't upgrade on this guy. I'm telling you. The problem is, we need a number six. We definitely need a number six. Someone's going to protect the back four, right? And yes, Joel Linton, he can do it, but he's out to the end of the season, guys. But for me, we definitely need a six. Our midfield, like Jack said, doesn't look right. We're just so easy to play against. Blackman went from midfield every single time. And for what I watched last night, it's just embarrassing me. But at the end of the day, I mean, that needs to be sorted down in the summer. I mean, Joel Linton's a big miss. When he's fit again, maybe he's next season and get him to a new contract, then we see a different kind of midfield. Tonight's got come back in yet, by the way. So it's going to be Bruno, Tonali, and Joel Linton in the midfield three. Also, I like to see Eddie change it up a bit as well, because it's always the same four three feet. He hasn't got a he hasn't got um what do you call it? he hasn't got like a, a plan B. And it just right. plays that formation all the time. And if you just change it yeah. up, even play a back three, offer something different, right? Switch against Man City, play five at the back or three at the back, and then we just go for it. Do you know what I mean? Just you don't see silly goals and that, but you play four three three. Man City are also a new one, I'm telling you. Yeah. And you know what? I have to agree 100% because I've been saying this as well. Uh, if I have to agree that, that, that Eddie only knows how to play one way. And to me, yeah, the people, I'm Derek, the my guys. All right, mate. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you for coming on the show, bro. No problem. See you. Choo -choo. See you. See you. See you, Lewis. See you back, Tony. Cheers, Lewis. Like, no problem. See All you. Right. See you, mate. Uh, so, uh, what I was saying is that he, he because elite managers, Derek, Derek, I've been arguing with old man. Oh, oh, he's, he says he's, he thinks he's elite. Other, other, other YouTubers think he's, a, he's an elite manager. I think you have to win something to be an elite manager, to be honest with you. But, but you at least what you can do is be able to have multiple ways of winning, of tying, of drawing, of getting games, of uh, of you know winning one nil, of uh, you know knowing how to park the bus properly. You know you, but just to do, he doesn't know what else to do other than playing this high intensity press type football. And with injuries, with decimated players, you're not going to be able to do that match every week especially if we you know if you play twice a week or whatnot which happened earlier in the season and so to me that is his biggest his and of course like you said as well he is married to his players and he is loyal to him and he seems like he will not change until the very end like he did i'll be honest with you i was excited last night with the lineup and i was a little bit a little bit excited on the the one previous when he took burnout but you can tell he was he didn't want to do that. You know what I mean? And that's the worst thing. When people when when somebody does something out of pressure or and not with conviction. Uh, you know, I don't know who wants to take this, but you know, debate me on this or, or you know, give your opinion. But that's that's what I think. I think it's Eddie Chris. Howe is I think Eddie Howe might just be a little bit too nervous sometimes to play. So he's players. your daddy, man. You look like him. So why don't you give him a phone, a phone <laughs> call, man, and tell him, hey, dad. Change the damn team. <laughs> <laughs> he won't listen. He won't Dude. listen. To, yeah, he won't listen to he his damn listen. son, man. Come <laughs> on, man. He might just be. Thing, a little thing is, Chris. Go on, sorry, wh whoever. Go ahead, Tony. Yeah, think thing about Eddie Howe is right. I mean, look, I want nothing more than to see Eddie Howe succeed, bring trophies to the castle. This is what I've shouted for. But when, I, when I'm looking at Eddie Howe now, I'm thinking, well, hang on. If you've got to learn from these other managers, like of Sarri, Simeone, and Klopp, if you've looked, stood on the training ground with them, and you've tracked and you see you've learned things, where's the plan B, Eddie? Where is it? Because we don't see it in games. The substitutions are far too late. They're not good enough, in my opinion. And look, I'm not an Eddie, I don't want Eddie Howe sacked, but at the end of the day, if the owners decided... They were changing the mantra. There is nothing any of us can do about it. We have to accept the owner's decision at the end of the day. We know Mandela loves Seddi, but at the end of the day, PIF are the majority in the club. And if they turn around, if Yasser turns around and says, I want him gone, there's nothing any of them can do about it. And that's the thing. And look, if 
if the reports are, there's a report going around saying they're going to replace him with Nagelsmann in the summer, that depends how Nagelsmann does with Germany. If Germany do have a great Euros, they might not want Nagelsmann to go, and he might not want to go. Who knows? Um, and, that, and that's the thing. So I don't know why the story's come about. But I seriously do think Eddie is under some sort of pressure. I think if we'd lost last night, you'd have been probably under immense pressure. And I see a lot of fans saying, oh, we'll go out there and hammer Wolves on Saturday. And I'll tell you now, there's no way we're hammering Wolves on Saturday because if we play like we're playing now, Wolves will rip us apart, especially Neto. He's on fire. That guy has got pierced to burn. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, we, Wolves will be a tough test on Saturday. It won't be easy as everybody else is thinking. If people are thinking we're going to go and beat Wolves 3 4 nil, then think again. You know, I'll happily take a 1 nil win against Wolves, but they are a tough team and they've been playing some great football under Gary O'Neill. Um, you know, so look, if we can't beat Bournemouth at home, we can't beat Luton at home, and we're coming up against a great Wolves team who are playing so well at the minute, you know, that's going to be really tough. Um, but as I say, Eddie needs to sort it out, he needs to start having a plan B. But look, Sean Longstaff's been great for us, but he hasn't been great for the past, what, month or so, or two months, whatever it is, but he, his form hasn't been great of late. And when he was picked ahead of Miley last night, I thought, well, hang on, why wasn't Miley put in there? Longstaff should have been dropped because he hasn't been great. Um, and I've said all along, I would quite happily if we sold Longstaff in the summer. Because that would mean if you sold him in the summer, you don't lose the likes of your Bruno, your Botman, or your Resax in the summer. You know, yeah. because your FFP is 100% if you sell Longstaff. And that's the difference. Um, you know, whether you'll get 20 or 25 million, I'm not so sure, because who's going to pay that sort of money from? And that is the problem. Um, you know, and players like Almiron need to be upgraded. And after last night, I think Jacob Murphy needs to go in the summer as well. And that's not me being funny about Murphy. But I don't think he's been great since he's come back from his entry. He isn't pulling up any trees. Yeah. But, yeah, you know, that's true. But I, I would I would I would assume I don't I don't understand. I know football is, is almost a different world at times, but I mean in my job, uh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> um, oh yeah, he is. Wow, you're with the mighty win, man. You know what? We get, we Hello, can't. Derek. We got. Hey, you know the mighty win has his has his intro. He, he's like a wrestler, man. He's got his intro music. You guys want to listen to the intro music? Come Hell on, yeah. man. Put, come on, right? Put it on. Never ever be done, burn. He's from Blackburn. He'll oh. never ever be done, burn. He's from Blackburn. He's from Blackburn. He'll never ever be done, burn. He's from Blackburn. He'll never ever be done, burn. He's from Blackburn. That's a that's a that's a nice that's a nice uh, a drum you got there, mate. How'd you do in the quiz, mate? How how'd you do on the quiz? Well, one tonight, one tonight, very good. Thirty quid into the pot. Hey, thirty quid. That's not even a cab fare, man. <laughs> no, you need that. No, no, man. That's that's lame. But anyways, um, welcome, Derek. Welcome, Derek, to the show, mate. Uh, but I mean, I mean, what what? <laughs> What I was going to say is, me and my job, by the way, 80, 87 people watching right now, please smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the show, um, and, and you know, you can become a member and win a shirt, a brand new Newcastle United shirt at on Thursday. If you become a member at uh, the first tier, get your name added twice, and the second tier, get your uh, your name added five times, so you already know, uh, as, long, as, as well as enjoy exclusive content. But in my job, I would try to do what's best. At the end of the day, is you know, as much as I would love my mate and, and love people around me, I'm going to do my job so I don't lose my damn job. Why do managers like Eddie get married to a player like Longstaff who was helpful and, and was good in a particular time? And the same as Byrne, he's messed up a few times this season, but not as bad as Longstaff. Longstaff has been playing horrible the whole time the whole season well not the whole season i'm, I'm, I'm lying i'm exaggerating but at, at least a few months uh from now so uh, i've told you once i've told you a million times exaggerate 
No. So when? How long has Longstaff been playing great or badly that you that you that you reckon? How long from now to when in the past? To how, how long ago? Well, since before he got injured. But I mean, I've never rated him anyway. And that had... when? <laughs> a long time ago, old man. Come on, man. You yeah, gotta yeah. be honest. I'm, 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 what I'm saying is, I never rated him, but when he went, when he was injured, but you want 40 million for him. So tell me that. Uh, well, if McTomney's worth 40 million, he's worth 40 million. And I'm supposed and, and I'm supposed to be nice to the elder with with this type of nonsense that they, <laughs> that, that gonna... Come on, man. Listen. Anyways, Derek, go ahead. Like I say, I, 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 I never rated him at all, but I had to question my own intelligence because there was no doubt about it. When he, when, when he got injured, our performances just slumped and I thought, well, I've got no idea what he's doing, but he's obviously doing something that I can't see. I'm too stupid to see. Because he's hiding. But I had to agree that when he was in the team, our performances were better. Since he's come back from injury, our performances aren't any better. And da da da. So, so I now believe that the only reason he looks even anywhere near remotely adequate for, the, for where we want to be is because of the players that are around him. And when those players aren't there, specifically J7, then he just looks what he is, which is a bang average Premiership player. But last yeah. season we struggled to win some games um, without long stuff. So sorry, there. Sorry, um, Paul. but uh, I thought did Paul say something there? Well, no, he's saying I don't remember. It was Jack, man. Oh, it was Jack. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Uh, by the way, thank you to Predator for becoming a, a member of the show. Appreciate you, Predator. Thank you so much. Thank you, Predator. Uh, by the way, is there is there a Mac on the chat? Uh, I just heard, I just saw some. You know, 100%. A, a yes. Oh, there is. Yeah, Who is that? Like oh, this. is that the hairy lad? I think that's the. Oh, that's the, uh, the, the, the. Oh, Billy has been eating him alive the whole nonsense. time. Uh, well, we, we're going to put him in. We're going to put him in. Him. No. Uh, Where's that Macam? Dirty Macam. Definitely on the Vaseline. That's the there we go. Uh, one of our best uh, Dubravka is our best goalkeeper of all time, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> no, I do. Given, Not a chance. Yeah. I have always yeah. jumped Martin. The, the yeah. stick he was getting was purely and simply because he went to Man United. And all of a sudden, he became from from your worldly girlfriend to a little flat. Um, he's not the best goalkeeper in Newcastle history. Come on. No, no, no. He's not the best oh, goalkeeper in Newcastle. Right. No. No, who are we talking about? No. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, this guy was saying not. that. The rapper was the best, the best goalkeeper in Newcastle's history. Who was saying uh, that? I believe. I believe uh, hey, hey, hold on, hold on, uh, John. Uh, you know you gotta go. You gotta go get some get some night uh, get a night's sleep, man. Because you gotta wake up in the morning, don't you? Ah, uh, well, just so go go be a weird. I'll go be up five o'clock in the morning and that sort of thing. I could stay here for a long time. I would, but yeah, no, no I'll problem, man. Five morning, but I just got like came on, man, because um, yeah, for, cool, for sure, for sure. So appreciate uh, that, man. Appreciate, I appreciate you for coming on, man. It, you know, it means a lot. Nice seeing you, John. Excited to come on. So appreciate you. Appreciate nice seeing you, John. John. You just have not go. Cool. Can I just give me shout out to me? No, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, let us know where think, we can find you. Man. I don't, don't want to disturb you. I don't want to um, put, put your show. But um, thanks for having us on. Um, you find us on uh, YouTube. You find us on Twitter. You find us on my socials. It's John Sinclair TV. And check out my latest vlog I've done. We get Blackburn game and the Arsenal game. The Arsenal one, I've got 27,000 views, 100 new subscribers. So I really appreciate it for that. And, yeah, um, Guys, I love you, love respect, and I'll definitely be back. Okay. All right, mate. You have a good night. Yep. Johnson Claire TV, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Cheers, thanks, see you, John. Thanks, 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 John. Thanks, John. All right. Uh, thanks, John, for being on the show. Uh, and of course, again, John Sinclair TV. You you might you, you know, sometimes you might you might see Paul there. You know, you got a good a good show there. So um, but I'm back by zero demand. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, I mean, I, you know, it's it's just uh, honestly, I, I have no idea where to move forward. But I was going to ask Roy actually a little bit a while ago. Uh, you, Roy, you've been awful quiet, man. I don't like that. You're not you're not yourself. Yeah. And why, Chris? Is, Chris, why Eddie... Chris. Yeah. The kid's back again. That the Mackham. No, he's back again. Nah, he's back again. Ooh. Just while that you know. Who is? Harry Mackham. Harry... Freaking Harry Kid has <laughs> changed his name to Rude Nuts. That's crazy. Oh, they, they, you gotta, you got to hold on. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put him on. Uh, that's why they call him a sad Mackham bastard. But that's Just crazy like because the fact that you got, you got multiple accounts so you can come and troll people. That it makes no sense, man. It just makes no sense whatsoever. What people might do in the spare time, and this is the answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, get in the Premier, get get in the Premier League, and then we can talk about. It. I I don't see you anywhere around me, and I'm fucking eleventh, tenth. You know what I mean? So, problem yeah. is, problem is, we we'll live rent free in their heads. That's why. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. the Macums will always forever be in our shadows. Of course, man. <laughs> Uh, but Roy, I was going to ask you, man. Like, you know, why yeah. why does Eddie keep getting married to stay married to these guys? You got to be like the mighty wind. Get divorced yeah. twice, three times if you have to. Don't get married. Stay married with these people, man. They're not they're not doing anything for you, Roy. Well, he keeps doing it week after week after week, and then you start questioning his decisions and questioning him as an elite manager. So was it a fluke last season? Or season, well, the second half of the season before. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, he's got 14 games now, plus that City game. That, that, that's I can't, I can't think of anything else. We've got um, Anderson back, Willock's back. Um, Longstaff needs to be rested. Rest him next week. Rest him against Wolves. Have a go. Yeah. See what happens. We might get beat, and then he will, he will be like, but I was right. We needed Longstaff. You never know. We might be worse without him. That's the that's the no. thing. We might be worse without him on the pitch. And uh, I agree with uh, uh, Tony. I agree. Um, uh, McGee needs to go. Longstaff needs to go. Murphy, yeah. Yeah. I love him. Needs to um, go. Just a second. Just a second. My, my mate Jack has got to go. Uh, got to wake up early for an exam, man. So I appreciate you being on the show, my mate. Um, this is thank you. Man. Oh, you didn't want to tell the people you had an exam? I'm sorry, man. He's got an exam tomorrow at 7 a.m. If he doesn't pass, he's going to get his ass beat by his parents. So, uh, <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, I appreciate it. Jack, tell us where we can find you, mate. Um, you can find me yeah, on YouTube, Toon TV. Um, I'm, all, I'm on Twitter as well. Same username. Instagram, same username as well. Um, and yeah. Uh, I've got physics tomorrow, and I've got an hour and forty-five history. Oh my God. Physics. <laughs> Good luck, mate. Well, you know the. Cheers, hey, mate. the la La last, last time, time I had that. Derek, uh... la last time Derek had physics, Newton was alive. So you know. <laughs> 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 Newton was his professor, man. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jack made. You. And I appreciate he, he you chucked the, the apple bro. on his heed, man. No problem, mate. Hey, tell your dad to change the damn team, man. <laughs> Tell your dad to change long staff. See you, mate. Right. Have a good night. See you, mate. See you, later. Jack. See you, mate. All right. Um, yeah, we have a little bit. People are weird. Yeah, no, yeah, no, man. You join people who don't want to be with you, man. That's, you know, I told you. <laughs> yeah. We lose, we, we lose ratings when you're on the show, brother. Uh, no, nah, I'm playing with you. I'm playing with you. I appreciate everybody's support. By the way, we got 83 people. Come on, like, you know, smash the like button if you're new. Subscribe. Um, but yeah, I mean, you you were saying, Roy. I mean, it just it just doesn't make sense, man. I don't understand it. I mean, is 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 will I? Don't, it doesn't seem like long stuff would be the type of guy to 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 throw tantrums. You never know, to be honest. But and, and say, you know, Willock was not happy that he came up yesterday. By the way, you saw Willock's face. Yeah, uh, Willock was not happy. Yeah. And, you know, he must feel like I'm ready to play, man. What? The, why are you taking me off? And I'm not the shy one. How, hey. <laughs> Players yeah. know. Players know when somebody's not pulling the end of the bargain. You're like, you're gonna take me out. What the? You know what I mean? So yeah, Paul, what do you think about that, man? Well, you know, it was, but you want to, you want to see a bit of that, don't you? you it doesn't. Um, I don't mind a bit of uh, annoyance being taken off because that shows they care. Do you know what I mean? Like it shows they, right. they, they give a shit. So I liked seeing that from Willock a little bit that he was pissed off. 
Um, I think more it's more to do with nursing his you know comeback rather than him playing badly. Um, do you know what I mean? It was obviously he's playing on you know to he's still come back to full fitness. So, but it is the the thing that's frustrating us all. And we're we're all bored of saying it. You know the meme has been for a long time about Dan Byrne, but Dan Byrne is some it has been a problem at times, but he's not been na- the main problem. Sean's been a problem longer than Dan Byrne has because Sean has done everyone's head in. And I tell you what. Like I said on Saturday, if Dan Burns in the start eleven on Saturday, I'll have no problem with that. If Sean is, I've said this already, I'll be fucking furious because I'm sorry he needs dropped. Because if Eddie hasn't seen how poor he was at Blackburn, then he ain't a good enough manager. I love Eddie Howe, but Bournemouth fans keep messaging me, uh, telling me this is what got him. You know, this is what got him relegated. That he kept playing the favourites. Um, um, Bournemouth, uh, not you know, not not dropping the guys who weren't in form. Uh, people who kept getting in trouble defensively, kept playing them, playing them, playing them. Uh, and this is what they were getting frustrated at, at at the same time when you know, from their point of view, uh, and they're saying it's starting to creep back in to uh, to Newcastle. Um, you know, so it's it's just it's interesting seeing their point of view because you know they they got they were they were more used to them than we are. You know, he was there for a lot longer. Uh, and they said it was a pattern of behaviour with Eddie. Um, he'd have one really positive high season where everything gone went rosy, and then another season where things went a bit, you know, a bit of a shambles. So interesting, interesting to see that trajectory. I hope it goes well for him. I don't want Eddie to, be, you know, I want Eddie here. I want him to be the first manager to win a pro trophy for us in years because I'd love, you know, that'd just be the the perfect story. So I'm not trying to say get him sacked, but. He just needs to, you know, if he wants to be a mature manager and an elite manager, as someone said, and not, I'm not saying he is, but if he wants to be, this is what you learn from. You learn from, right, Longstaff's having a terrible game. I need to take him out. He did it for Botman. He's brave, he's brave enough to say to Botman, you're not injured, mate, but you're not playing at Blackburn because you've been, you've been poor. And I'm hoping right. that he's got the balls to say to Longstaff, look, mate, you can watch back that performance at Blackburn. You were terrible. I've got a midfield now. You're not playing. Yeah, that is true. But I, I, I just don't. I, I don't. At this point, I don't see him doing it. And that, that's 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 yeah. my biggest concern that he's not understanding the point. Uh, you know, and I mean, we even got Derek to come to the dark side because he's definitely not. He's not pulling his end of the bargain. I mean, he's, you can see that he he's got the ultimate word and who comes out come, comes on the pitch. And if you keep playing somebody that obviously is playing horrible, it's not that, you know, he did something great and he made, he got a great assist or, you know, even scored, even though when he scored, he still played horrible, which is crazy to me. How you score two goals and play horrible. But, uh, you know, and so I, I don't, I, I don't see Eddie, but I, one of the most controversial, controversial pundits out there in, in the football world, uh, is, um, Simon Jordan. Tony, you got to go, mate. Yeah, it's midnight. Yeah, I'm eating. I've got to get up to uh, yeah, that, that, was, that, was, that, that uh, was quite. That was uh, quite uh, a long. That was quite a long shot, mate. Yeah, don't forget to wipe. Hey. <laughs> you watch? <laughs> don't forget to wipe. That was quite a Wait, long. I'll tell you what. The, long I'll tell you what. The weather's the weather's been fantastic. Yeah, it was 26 yesterday, 24 today. Um. It's currently still 15 degrees now and the aircon's on in the hotel because it's it's too hot to have to turn the aircon off. Yeah. Um you know, it's it's just we had I left like Stansted yesterday and it was like zero degrees. Do you know what I mean? It's just we have um but yeah, yeah it's uh, it's been lovely though. But uh no very, right. very nice you, people, yeah. So I'll see it anybody if you if you haven't been to Toronto, definitely get yourself over there because it's it's worth a visit and uh, oh. I couldn't meet friendlier people than the Albanians. They've been absolutely fantastic. I will go to Toronto, Canada soon, mate. I pre, you know, no worries. <laughs> uh, how's the food? But, how's uh, the food there? The food, oh, the food, the food is great. lovely. I, t- I can't, I can't fault the food at all. Even the, you know, the beer's lovely as well. One eighty a pint. You can't go wrong with that. And the, but the, I went to a gastro pub tonight. The food was absolutely gorgeous. Um, traditional Albanian food. That was absolutely spot on. Not, not a problem. Mm-hmm. Freshly cooked, lovely. And um, you know, you, you can get a, 
it's a bit like their version of Costa over here. You get like, a, you, you know, you can get like a cappuccino or a latte for like one pound. It's just, it's amazing. Honestly, it is. It's, uh, you know, yeah. and the thing is, I like go to companies like this because you see a different site. Plus, not only that, I went on the Bunker Museum and things like that because I like a bit of history and things like that, you know, and to see what other countries have gone through in the past when they've been under communist rule. And do you know what? It, 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 it's a cracking country and I've got more to explore so I'll be coming back here that's for sure so I definitely want to go to the stadium as well yeah. so um, you know, sure. I've done the stadium tour in Warsaw in their national stadium a few years ago and uh, that was fantastic that only cost three pounds for a stadium tour of their national stadium which yeah. is absolutely fantastic what, uh, it's a beautiful stadium you, ca you, you, you come you home tomorrow to or, or yeah, yeah, I get the uh, 10 past 11 flight tomorrow morning uh, from Toronto, so I get back to Stansted for about half past one. It's about two hours, 40 minutes All on right. the flight. Yeah. All right, mate. Well, you have a good night and, you know, hope to get you back as soon as possible, safe and sound, uh, so you can be on the yeah. show, mate, properly and not taking a, you know, doing that stuff. Um, but anyways, appreciate you being on the show, my brother. Uh, it's all black and white TV, ladies and gentlemen, on YouTube, right? And also mm -hmm. at Tony Tooney 31 on Twitter. So see you, Tony. Cheers, guys. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah, it's next, it's Thursday morning. Yeah, no. oh, mm -hmm. See you, mate. See you. All oh, right. Tony, um, still there was Tony. Oh, you still on? Be careful, man! Don't show us. <laughs> be careful! Yeah. Be careful, no, man! Do um, you want to see the barracuda? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, by the way, we are we are growing we are growing the the channel pretty nicely, and and I appreciate everybody's support. Uh, of course, you know, uh, and uh, it do, it does look like at some point in time soon in the next few hours or days we're gonna to have to appoint some people for appoint some people to become mods of the channel because we want to we want to you know keep the the unfriendly macams away there are some friendly ones to be honest so not they're not all bad uh and you know i always somebody always told me that's from newcastle i used to do he said this i used to try to do uh mission uh, you know missionary work try to convert them the ones that could read and Mac write. Was back, Chris, uh, by the way because he's saying we need david david sent on back <laughs> yeah, and I think it's the it's the it's the it's the, Van, it's the Van Halen one, right? The Van Halen guy, Aye. Deputy Van Halen. He's been he, he's been. Is that him? Yeah, how is Yeah, no, no, no. Because um, let me put Bantam again. Because um, what's his name? He's been on before. Remember with with uh, with us as well. I think a few weeks ago. So yeah, I mean, you know, he must be getting paid for it because I don't understand any other reason why. Uh, just uh, you know, uh, do that. But so we're gonna need a few. Uh, we're gonna need a few mods here. So, uh, and I'm uh, and I'm seeing some people that uh, are always trustworthy and coming on the show a lot, supporting. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, a lot of you guys are great. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do it one step at a time though. Because last time I was like, I just make everybody mod, and then it turned <laughs> out, you know, not that great. Um, you know. So, but anyways, we'll we'll we'll, we'll take a look at that. Um, we about an hour in, man. You guys, any of you gotta go? Gotta go to school tomorrow. Well, the Mason, you look like you're you're in elementary school, yeah. man. So, but um, yeah, I, I, I don't understand this 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 situation with Eddie. I, I mean, I, I, but I was gonna say, uh, Simon Jordan, a controversial pundit. Which, by the way, I'm Ooh. gonna react to a video that he did. Um, okay, I'm sure, I'm sure is gonna sure is gonna blow me piss boil me piss uh when i react to it but um he's been saying this for a long time he's saying that honestly he doesn't think that eddie howe will take newcastle united to the next level he's been saying it for a long time to be honest before all this um i want to go around and ask if you agree with this statement at this point in time paul do you believe that eddie howe can take newcastle united to win titles and become an elite team in the Premier League, yeah, I do. Um, with the right back in and the right players, I do because we've already been to a final with Eddie. I know we didn't get there, but he's already proved. And some of the some of the performances under him have been unbelievable. We've blown some teams absolutely away. Man City didn't know what. I know we got a draw, 
Um, but in that free free for a long time in that game, Man City, who were one of the best teams in the world, they just are, they didn't know what hit them. They were they were on the ropes. And yeah, we let them back in, I get that, but we were phenomenal. And there's been performances, you know, the Arsenal 2-0, you know, I'd put up there with one of our best. Um, you know, one of the one of the best I've seen us play for a long time. You know, we, we can play phenomenal football. We really can, like, play an um, outstanding football and really put teams to the sword. It's just getting that consistency with with that playing style and the, and the squad. And that's, you know, and Eddie Howe has been responsible for that. Yes, he's responsible for what's going wrong at the moment. That's what managers do. But I do believe that if a team are playing in the right way, we can beat anybody. We really can. If we had a fully fit squad... Even if, even though we're going to the Etihad, had, I still think that if we were playing at our best, we could we could beat Man City. Not right now. I'm not saying now, but when we were playing at our height, we can beat anybody on our day. So I think Eddie is capable of it. It's just whether he has the time and the players to do it. Here, yeah. here. Yeah. Um. Uh, what do you think, Mason? Do you agree with with Simon Jordan? Uh, what do you think? Strangely enough, it's coming from a guy who nearly took Crystal Palace out of business. I mean, he, he's just a jealous man, and he's and he's back with four fingers. He's is definitely Lord, a, hey, wait a minute. Is, is Lord is. Is Lord Kananga? Is that him? Yes, he is. You might. How I keep man. This dude. How many Google accounts do you got, man? Damn. <laughs> yeah, that's it. He's got one yeah. for his OnlyFans. But anyways, there we go. <laughs> All right, go ahead, man. I'm just. I'm just Chris. I'm just saying he's a very bit a jealous man, considering what he what he's done from a football club. Um, nearly taking him out of business altogether completely. Um, but I mean, if if Eddie Howe gets the right backing, then he will. Which I feel like he, which I feel like he will. I've just said he will. Um, <laughs> but I would everything what same same and Jordan says. I wouldn't, I wouldn't agree anything about own, about Newcastle with the ownerships because about money and that money as well because. For, because he, he can't see anything for what he done because he took me, as I've just said, he took Crystal Palace, he nearly took Crystal Palace out of uh, business or to go and basically put them in millions of pounds in debt as well. All right. Um, the mighty win. What do you think, Ben, on this assessment? Do you... Ultimately, the question Simon is not... The question is not just if Simon Jordan is <laughs> right or wrong. The question is, do you think Eddie Howe can take us to the, to be elite, to be an elite club. And I personally, I'm in the middle. I just don't know it right now. But what do you think? Well, starting off with Simon Jordan. Simon Jordan is just a clickbaiter. Controversies are us, you know. Uh, but I, 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 so, so, some stuff that he says is, is, is pretty well thought out and, and reasonable. But a lot of the time, it's just... Uh, just to create to stir up con controversy for, for the station uh do i think eddie has taken us as far as you can go no i don't i honestly don't but i can we've got tristan in the comments there saying you know i'm sorry but eddie has never won anything and this season surely can't pay the other way and that is true to a degree it is it, it, is proven himself to be not very good shall we say at finding a plan b when when dealt a certain pack of cards now the trouble is that the pack of cards he's been dealt this season has been full of twos and fours and you're not going to beat a royal flush with twos and fours so what i want to see i want to see what eddie can do with a full squad a full fit squad and i honestly believe that he can take us to the next level but 
if you can't, it'll not be me that makes the decision. PIF will not hang around. They will, I, I'm pretty sure he's got enough credit in the bank right now for PIF to not be hatchet happy. However, I said before yesterday's game, you know, if, if we get beat tonight, and by the way, we should have done, if we get beat tonight, then the amount of leeway that I can give him now is is getting smaller and smaller and smaller by the match. You know, I I, I, I have excused him all season as a result of injuries. But what he has to do for me is realise that with the injuries we've got and therefore with the playing staff we have available, you cannot play this 4-3-3 religiously. We've got to stiffen up that midfield. And if that means putting more bodies in and being more defensive, so be it. But we cannot continue to ship goals the way we've been shipping them lately. So he's walking a much, much tighter road than he was walking with me hitherto. But, uh, you know, as I say, my patience, a bit like uh, Tristan's there, is wearing very thin now. But I just hope, I hope, hope, hope <clears> so <throat> much. Does it? I just, I just so badly want him to succeed. And let's be honest, if, I mean, it's a massive if now, of course, I, do, I assume you'll already have discussed the cup draw. And so our, our our chances of winning the FA Cup now are remote, to say the least. But I, j yeah. just imagine if he could have won silverware, he's the best manager we've ever had. And, and funnily enough, I spoke to quite a few Cherries fans, Bournemouth fans, and almost to a man, I think there's only one with reservations, and to a man that would have Eddie back tomorrow. So I don't know, Paul and I must be yeah. talking to different Bournemouth fans, but uh, most of the Cherries I speak to would have them back in a heartbeat. But I just I don't I, know, I I've, always, I've, I've always... always... Given a chance with with a full squad, with proper resources, well, I I I get that, I get that. But I mean, this is a good question right here. The Foxy asks um, that could lead me to to my point. What what was just everybody's quickly, expectations? Mate, sorry, back. Again, just quickly, oh, mate. God. Sorry, I don't I don't understand. I keep... Anyways, there we go. I don't, I don't know. I keep banning. But um, I was going to, uh, this is a good question. Listen to my point. What was everyone's expectation? Let me start with Roy. What is it? What was everybody's expectation? Uh, he said he had a seventh uh, with a good cup run. Um, I guess we're not, we wouldn't be too far off from that. If we get a good run, we might finish there, which this wouldn't necessarily be a bad season in, in, in you know, in most people's eyes. But I mean, we were, I don't know, just the performances. It go, I think it, be, it goes beyond the table and beyond the, the points. Uh, you know what I mean? And the goals. But, Roy, what do you think on that, man? Um, in the beginning of the season, I thought we would be between fifth and seventh. And then by October, November, I thought uh, I'll, I'll be happy with six to eight. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll take eight now. Um. I think I don't, I don't even think we'll finish eighth anyway. We, we we do have winnable games on paper, including next Saturday. But you can't you can't even be be Blackburn. So that that's what's worrying. What's happening on the pitch is more worrying than your fixtures and where you can finish and, and all that stuff. And, and back to Eddie Howe and uh, Jones, Simon Jones. The only one who can shut Simon up is Eddie himself. Hmm. The thing is, what Ed is doing at the moment is proving that Simon's right. Hmm. One dimension football, wrong decisions almost every single game. Um, you, you play a team, everybody, every single team now knows if you want to hit Newcastle, you do two things. You either play on Newcastle's left side with Dan Burners, 
put your fastest swing on or hit them through the middle. Even Blackburn were hitting us yesterday. How, how many one-on-ones were there? Three, four? Yeah. The Rafka saved. <clears throat> it's just like, um, well, what's your reaction? What's your reaction? What are you telling your players? And it's, it's happening every game now. It's happened. It's, it wasn't. This wasn't happening in just after the injuries. It was happening before because Liverpool scored both their goals that way. So Brighton as well. So uh, when, when, I think two out of the three. Yeah, one of them was lucky. One of them was um, Pope's mistake. And the other two, the lad was running freely in the middle of the pitch. Everyone's sitting there watching. Um, he's playing long stuff every game as well. I'm, I'm. My worry would be is my my worry would be if long stuff doesn't play, and let's say he goes with Willock, Bruno, and Miley, or Willock, Bruno, Anderson, and it's worse. And I think I, I, I don't think I, hmm? it can't possibly be any word. Well, yeah, it, well, like, well yeah. that's what we said. That's what we said. And then he changed Tino for for Baron for Tino. And then we played horrible against Arsenal. Uh, you know, and then well, last night we played even worse. <laughs> that, that wasn't mighty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, <laughs> ne- uh, burn against Neto again, no chance. So he should, he needs to be on a bench. We're playing at home, so we can't go with uh, five at the back. So I you would don't go think... Tino again. I, I don't yeah, think when we play weaker teams or teams around, let's say seventh and below, four three three should work. No, that's that's what I think because <laughs> we play working. Liverpool and them. Um, <clears throat> we need you need midfielders. We we need midfielders on. So when you play um, Liverpool. I would go with three at the back. Spurs, I would go three at the back. Chelsea, even Chelsea, probably three at the back. But when I'm playing um, Wolves, Bournemouth, all those teams, I'll, I'll keep the 4 3 3, but I won't have Dan Burn at the back. So simple stuff. Long stuff, sure, even Blackburn yesterday. Oh. Uh, well, the day before I was, yesterday, I was I saying, I hope he played. Five for yeah. one against anybody at the minute with our resources. Yeah, but that's five for one. Is Steve Bruce, you've got Steve Bruce back there. But that's 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 a Steve Bruce who spent three hundred no, million. No. That's five, what we five, get. Impressed, but again, I mean, I would have share. I would have share with share the ability to move up to make the ball. Yeah. Well, share share was then, been great anyway in the last three four games too. He two. he was not he was not great he was not great. He was not great. What's worrying is almost every team, every game, you'll see one player who doesn't perform. That's 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 normal. What's happening with us now? Every game, you get four or five or six players who're not performing. There's something wrong in that dressing room. Uh, The heads down. um, Plus, that I think the worst thing he's done yesterday was uh, putting Miley on and taking him off. Yeah, seventeen-year-old kid. That's not going to help. That's that is help. like that destroys the kid, the kid's confidence. Oh, Unless there's no, a, that is... and yeah. the mid, he maybe took Miley off in preparation for penalties. He so... he literally said that in the uh, press conference. Is that, is that why? He, and he and when was this? Took... Say again, mate. When was when was when was the change? When was the substitution? It was in the uh, extra time, wasn't it? First, extra I know, but second. but I think there's ten minutes left. You, but you see what I'm saying? You you gave up on the game that early? No, I agree. No I'm way, I'm ready. Yeah. No, no way does no way does uh, that this look good? Uh, I want to add. Uh, you guys haven't met him yet, I don't think. But you know, Specs, Jordy Dread TV. He's on the show. What's up, brother? You doing good? That's what. Shout to everyone to the panel. We got, we got. Shout out. Hey, thank, thank you, mate. Uh, he's he's got a nice channel too. Jordy Dread TV does all the watch alongs. You know, nice, nice channel. Uh, okay, over eight hundred subs, don't you? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. About eight fifty one two. Yeah, round up. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So I know I uh, Jordy Dre. He used to do shows with me earlier in the channel, you know, and then so we, you know, we I know him for 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 a while now. But uh, and he's very he's like he's like us, very blunt and to the point. He doesn't sugarcoat when he feels upset about Newcastle United. Uh, but uh, let me give me your 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 thoughts, man, on on the game last night. Look, man. To be honest, I bet, look, you, were, look. I bet you were renting left and right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the watch long the watch long was a bit stressful. But well, first of all, let me get out of the way. I'm not on the Eddie Howe out train. But everyone's got their own opinions. Like for me, it's pointless this season. What do you know what I'm saying? What questions need to be asked after the shambolic performance against Arsenal? Didn't expect to win, but I expected a better performance. After that, I really thought we'll come out a bit more, you know, like with intensity and a bit more assurance of ourselves. No, there's no easy games. It's the FA Cup. Um, you've got Man City next. But we'll get to that. But yeah, I just felt like um, there's no intensity. I feel sorry for Isaac as well. One of the best strikers in the world. Isaac has been wasted. I thought Willock was a bit rusty, which is understandable. Murphy wasn't great. Barnes, you know what I mean? I was just a bit... Like, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm a bit confused. Like, what's been said before the game? Half-time. Do you get what I'm saying? And it's just like... It's just not on, to be honest. It's, it's not on. And I just felt like even when we had the ball, especially in the first half and the second half, it's just all predictable, sideways, sideways. The midfield was a bit too far from our defence. And there was just no ideas, no one making the movements. I told Eddie Howe made a positive um, change when we started attacking and doing what we have seen us do in the past. Things over, a bit more creative. Gordon got his goal. It's, it's crazy. Like, to be honest, if Blackburn... Well, actually, it's not about the quality because the Brav car for me had a he's, he's my man in the Mac for that game, and he kept us in it. Because Blackburn could have finished the game early if you really think about it. That's my thoughts on the game, and on to the next Man C. <laughs> what do you think about that, man? We're gonna beat Man City, man, bro. <laughs> never, look, never say never. When we played them in a the Carabao Cup, I didn't expect to get a win even though it was at home. But the way we're playing right now and the way we're leaking goals, we're open up like a, I often say it on here. The way we're leaking goals, the midfield is a bit <laughs> weak for me right now. No like, no attack on anyone specifically. I know people like to, you know, get onto Dan, Dan Burns and if he's not there, the narrative is long staff. I think long staff is hot and cold. I think last night he was... Uh, you know what it is for me, yeah? It's the... Every watch along I do in the last how many games, it's the same thing. It's the self-inflicting mistakes. That's what irritates me the most, especially in the midfield. And especially when we're not even under pressure. It's just have a, it's have a slackness. There's no there's no awareness. It's like I'm thinking, is this is this real? Like are they tired? You can't be tired. You can't use the injuries as excuses every week. That, that, that's gone now. So, I, I don't know what's going on. The Man City thing, I'm a positive guy, but let's just keep it real. I can't really see us going to the edge of If he's at home, maybe. But away, I, I, I don't know. I, nah, not under this inconsistency that we're under at the moment. And City look dangerous now with the Harlem back, the Brock, the Burner. Even if it didn't start, it's going to be hard. It is what it is. Yeah. Good, good points right there. Um, but is can we still <laughs> use right now right now right now today i mean you can no say input. last what, what oh go ahead go ahead sorry. yeah like, well you know yeah you, you, you're right we're you can take it that way you know we're consistently bad but my question is um right now today or last night or the game against arsenal can we still use for these particular matches and the ones moving forward, I know we don't have we don't have Joe Linton, but can we keep saying that we got everybody out and we, you know, Eddie's doing what he can? Can we really say that anymore? No. Uh, and I, I understand the match fit thing and and the, all that, but Willock yesterday when he was coming off the pitch, he was like, "I want to stay in the damn match." Why? You know what I mean? He was shaking his head. Yeah, but we've got to so, be careful with Willock, though. We've got to be careful with him. Trust me, bro. I think it was the right decision at the 60-minute mark to take him off. I believe so, anyway. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, so I mean, uh, so so basically, when is this going to be? Can, can we still use that? I mean, I think Paul, you said no. We 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 can't because can't. I mean, Anderson can Anderson came back last night. Yeah, we pretty much got a lot of the guys we've been moaning about are back. Yeah, I know we're missing Joe and we're missing Pope, but we've got, we've got Anderson back, we've got Willock back, you've got Isaac back. You know, you, you've got a team that's, you know, you've got a team out there now and a bench that's good enough, to, well, should be good enough to win games. It's that simple. Yeah. It's, yeah. You know, I know we've got people out yet. We still have people no. out, but we don't we're, have we're bloody not. four goalkeepers on the bench anymore. We, we cannot now <clears throat> use as an excuse. I mean, the, the problem we have got is that even though, you know, we're saying we've got all these players back, they're back, but they're not fully match fit, fully eddy fit back. You know, they're working up to that and hopefully we'll get there before the end of the season. But that's not the point for me. The point for me is that he's got to realise that with what we've got available, he's got to change the system. He's got to stiffen up that midfield. He's got to put four there. He's got to have but a plan if B. If he doesn't change it, he... but but yeah. but but uh, if if he doesn't change it, which he hasn't lately, let's let's just say how it is. He's not a good manager. Good managers know when to when to when to implement Plan B, Plan C. And if you don't have a Plan B, you like to say I have twenty Plan A's. Well, then you get your second Plan A. But a good manager knows what to do, when to do it. So let's just keep yeah. let's just keep it keep it honest, man. I mean, you know what I mean. I feel I feel like Roy's on my side. He's ordering his chicken. I'm think I think it, but you know, uh, <laughs> but uh, Roy, come on, man, you're on my side, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's I Roy's think it's up to him. Man. It's it's up to him anyway. So it, 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 if he, he if he loses his job, yeah. he will live or die by those decisions now. Because he will. Everybody has seen enough now over the past whatever you years. You said that two weeks ago, and he's still doing the same thing. Yeah, because I That's thought what's worrying us. I thought he would have right, changed, right. and he hasn't. Well, after after not doing it, not changing it against Arsenal, not changing it yesterday. He's never going to change it. It's, it's going to go four three three. So uh, I'm not even going to bother with doing my little thing before every week. And I oh, look at this game. I think he needs to do this. He's going four three three every game. If you play Real Madrid or if you play um, a club from Latvia, he's going to do the same thing. I think it's an ego yeah. thing a little bit as well. Because the more we shout out, no damn burns, or the more we shout out, change up Plan B. He's just like, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Which is quite weird, because I'm just like, at some point, you got to change up, just to try something. I know you're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't. But give us something different, because it's the same old, same old. We see the same old mistakes. We see this, like, we keep saying we miss Big Joe Linton and Tonalis and all this, but come on. The play that we have on the pitch, we sure we can get a better consistency than that. Our defence is shocking. In the Blackburn game, the Arsenal game is one thing. But the Blackburn game was it's just like did you did did you did, did, did you not see at one point when Fabian Chair if, if Var was there he'll be off. Please tell me you saw when Fabian Chair literally nearly lost the lost his man in the pool and he literally handballed it. You yeah, must have saw that. And he should have been booked, but he wasn't. <laughs> I yeah. couldn't believe that when that that, that rep is, is 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 dross but is dross by the way. But that that was in another game of VAR. He'll be off. I was thinking, what are you doing? And these are simple things that we were good at last season, even with Jamal Lascelles. He's been quite good for us when he has come in. I couldn't believe from a throw one, he's misheaded. And even when the rebound, yeah. our anticipation wasn't to defend the ball and they scored a goal. It's just yeah. things like that. And I was thinking, yeah. are the players tired of hearing Eddie? Are they just, is it boring now? Is it the same old? I don't know. I really don't. Yeah. So... Yeah, it, yeah. It, it's going to be interesting to see how, how things develop. Uh, we got to call it off tonight. We had a great show, hour and a half. It's been great. Um, and uh, thank you. Thank you to everybody that came on. John, Jack, uh, Tony. Uh, who else we had on? I'm missing. I think that's it. Was... Uh, obviously, Paul, Mason. 
Uh, uh, so yeah, <laughs> Paul Mason, <laughs> Roy, Mighty Win, and of course Specs, Jordy Dread TV. Find him at Jordy Dread TV, man. He's he's got nice, nice content. Appreciate you, my man Specs, for for joining, brother. Thank you, man. It's been a while since you, man. I know, yeah, no, I know you. It's busy. It busy. He's a busy man, man. Everybody wants him. He's a he's a good uh, rubber. He's on uh Mighty Win. You watch Never a Foul. He's on there. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just come off there now. That's why I had to rush to try and squeeze in. I promise that I wanted to be on this, on a Newcastle show. You know what I mean? Of so. course. After after the show, hey, hey Derek. After the show, he's gonna sign a, 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 a shirt for you and send it send it to Mighty Win. Because you because specs, you're his idol, man. You know what I'm saying? He's been watching you for a long time. Yeah. Anyways, he's been, uh, he's been, been watching me. Yeah, man. He hmm. watches never a foul. Uh, Derek, hmm. the one in the middle, the Mighty Win. Oh, see, the old guy, okay. the only old guy in the middle. Yeah. Right next, oh, yeah. right next to you, but, That's anyway. brother. but anyways, uh, I appreciate your support. Smash the like button on your way out, subscribe to the show if you haven't already, and you can become a member and win a home Newcastle shirt on Thursday. So, there you go. Well, tomorrow we have what's tomorrow? Thursday? Tomorrow's Thursday? Yeah, oh my god, yeah, tomorrow is Thursday. Tomorrow. We got the preview match preview Newcastle Wolves. We got to play another match. It's going. You know, it's kind of like uh, it, uh, I, I I listened to um, I was trying to sleep. I was going to sleep last night, and then I started thinking about the about the show. And the mighty win is like I keep, that comes to mind. The mighty win is saying, "Yeah, you need to watch the game again." And Roy says, "I'm not watching this shite again." And I fucking started laughing out loud. My wife was like, "What's wrong with 120 you?" 120 minutes of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you've got to, I'm you've, the, 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 it's easy to watch. I've, I've said before, it's easy to rewatch games when uh, you play great and win. The games man. you've got to rewatch again and again are the games when we're playing. No, we're not, man, I don't, we're not doing that. I don't. That, that's the, I don't. Let, let you wait. see where the mistakes are being made and what what could be. Let Roy done, speak, done. man. Yeah. I don't even watch the same porn twice. I get bored that quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on, that note, on, yeah. on, on that note, ladies and gentlemen. I don't, I'm not going to go cool. watch Longstar for another 120 minutes. No fucking <laughs> yeah, chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it was good, uh, I mean, I'm, uh, honestly. Yeah, I'm I, I was, I, I was trying. The show was going to end before something crazy was said. Yeah, I, I couldn't mate, end some, it in time, some, man. Some games, some games. I've got them. I've still, I've still got the four four DVD with Arsenal. I, I've, I've seen that yeah. 60, 70 times. I never get sick of that one. That's easy to watch. There we go. But I, I, I fast anyway, forward. It we got half. We, we gotta yeah. go. We gotta go. We gotta go. I appreciate everybody coming on tomorrow. Match preview: Newcastle United versus Wolves. <laughs> We're gonna beat Wolves ten 0 We're gonna do it. This time we're gonna do it. Keep the faith. Keep, keep, keep there we go. I, I say that to myself, so my cholesterol levels don't skyrocket. We'll see you in the next <laughs> one, folks. Bye bye. See you. Good night, all.